Daniels Grenadiers, the team we expected. No Kvyatkovsky. He announced he had a leg issue yesterday. He won't be participating. It's the old guard of Castroviejo, Van Baal, Rowe, and Thomas. So we've seen them in the tour many times, as well as Ghana, Martinez, Pidcock, and Adam Yates. So Pidcock and Adam Yates have obviously been deemed fit. They're two GC leaders, and Martinez and Thomas. Martinez looked good at the end of Swiss, and Thomas obviously won Swiss, looking in good shape. By the way, I think he he mentioned in his podcast with Cadell Evans, he's like he saw the the article or maybe the graph about his performance, and he's he's getting mad about it. I don't know why. Maybe because it said that he was in his 2018 shape, but that wouldn't be good enough to win. Um, because he's like numbers don't mean anything. Anyway, Ganners for the opening TT. They've got the strong rulers in Roubaix winner and Luke Rowe. Uh, D- Dylan Van Baal, sorry, and Luke Rowe and, and Thomas. I just, they're just going to have to full send week one, Benji. That's the only thing I see with this team is they have to throw shit at the wall. That's probably not the right analogy. <laughs> they just have to send week one with their rulers and hope there's chaos and hope everyone crashes behind and then somehow they podium that way. Exactly. It's a team that has the support for week one to create chaos. They've got Ghana, Rowe, and I don't know, when it comes to Pitcock, I feel like he can also be quite supportive in setting things up in that first week. Castro's very versatile in that aspect, and Von Barl is definitely a key man in all terrains. But I fear that making a chaotic first week will have a bad influence on Adam Yates, I feel like. I don't trust Adam Yates for a chaotic first week. Uh, it's as simple as that for me. When it comes to Martinez and Thomas, I feel like Thomas is great in a chaotic first week. But he needs to avoid crashing himself, which is a big factor last year, for example. But I feel like he hasn't crashed this year, right? In races? I haven't seen it, at least. No, I don't think he has. He probably will have. He only crashes. It's better that they're doing something. He crashes when he goes to sleep in nothing stages, when he just hits a speed bump and takes out Hessing. I think there's a possibility <laughs> they full send first week. They make Yates and Martinez lose time. They get to the Alps and the Pyrenees, and then Thomas loses bulk time, and then it's all bad. <laughs> so that's a, a pretty big possibility that, yeah, Thomas won't stack up on the big climbs. Uh, but Peacock Benji, like, what's his role in this team? Like, Rodriguez is a much more natural fit to me. Uh, a commercial vessel for the Netflix show is what I see. Now, on a serious note, I think there's – opportunities for him in long week for example to go for a stage but it doesn't fit in the rest of the team for me like i don't see him as the domestique rider although he was a good domestique on what was it that stage where bernal went long in the vuelta last year yeah on the covered Onga stage he was good him puccio and sivakov were very strong is that something he can replay into this Tour de France in a second or third week on proper mountains, or do you think that it's not that viable on a high altitude stage, for example? I mean, they were sort of punchy, like 6K, 7% climbs, I think, and they were steady pacing, and Sivakov did the real hard last pull on Koyada Yomena. He did a good work, Pidcock, but yeah, it's different, as you say, in the big mountains. What's his shape like after being sick? Same with Yates. Yates as well. Is Yates a domestique? He's come fourth in the tour before. Is he, I would say, the Ineos experience? He's out of contract there. Has not been an overwhelming success so far. Um, is he Is he part of a trident? Because I think he should just be a domestique for Thomas and Martinez. I think he shouldn't have been in the team in the first place. Is that harsh to say? I feel like I'd rather see Carlos Rodriguez, who is a full domestique, and... Arguably, with Strade experience, likely can get over the cobbles and help out there as well. And in chaotic terrain, seems to be pretty good as well. To be a supportive domestique in this race, then Adam Yates will be that first year leader that is not sure if he even survives the first week. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sold on Adam Yates for this race at all when it comes to leadership. Maybe we're thinking about it in too linear a skinny os fashion, Benji, and maybe. Maybe they're like they're not domestiques. Pidcock, Ganna, Yates are there to hunt stages and go in breakaways. And Ganna's obviously going to go for the first stage in the TT. Maybe they're thinking about it that way. In which case, it does make sense to have that sort of team construction. And maybe it is a good idea to not. If I was them, I would do that because 
I'm not sure it would make too much a difference uh, sort of chaining those guys the entire time. Zwift is the perfect training playground with training plans, structured interval sessions or group workouts at your disposal, no traffic lights and some black courses too I mean it's perfect for a recovery spin, which is how MVDP has used it after big training blocks and preparing for the Tour de France. To get involved and join Zwift's massive community, head to Zwift.com for your free seven-day trial. And most importantly, during the tour, join the LRCP Zwift Club using the link down below. You can join Benji and I for rides during the Tour de France ad hoc ones. We'll just jump into Zwift and you can jump on with us and join us for live chat during the stage on the Discord.